Now, in late 1944, when you were in transit over, was there any concern that U-boats would, would still be a problem for the uh, convoys? Very much so. Uh, the U-boats were a constant threat, and we uh, were drilled constantly on what to do if we were hit or try to protect ourselves. Of course, we were well protected by elements of the U.S. Navy, and uh, fortunately nothing happened uh, to deflect our, uh, our trip to Europe. But the threat was there constantly. And do you recall what kind of ship or liner you were on at that point in time? It was called a Liberty ship. I think it was probably a freighter originally, but it had been refitted as many, many ships had been, uh, scores of them, uh, to carry troops. And so we were in very close quarters, as you can imagine. Uh, I don't recall how many troops. The Sea Tiger was the name of my ship. I'll never forget it. Uh, but we took a, a fairly large element of our troops on a ship, protected by a convoy of the uh, U.S. Navy, of course, and uh, made our way to Normandy. And there were no incidents then with enemy contact? None, none that affected us, no. And during that transit, I would assume most of the soldiers were pretty bored. What, what did you do to, to use your free time? We uh, studied uh, field manuals on uh, what, how to react. And uh, we had weapons training. Strip, stripping weapons and assembling them on the ship. As we become more and more familiar with our ability to do that even in the dark or without any illumination at all. Uh, we were kept busy in doing things appropriate to our mission uh, in Europe. And then do you recall, did you have quarters in the hold? Were you able to go up to the top deck in order to get air? I think we had, uh, officers had a little better quarters, but not much better. Uh, but my impression is, Brian, that almost all of us were down below decks. Uh, I don't know of any quarters above uh, the main deck. And was there a lot of seasickness or illness? There was, a yes, a more than normal amount uh, because, number one, most of the men had never been on a ship before. Uh, number two, the weather was always bad in the North Atlantic. And uh, number three, the normal tensions that all of us had uh, on what we were about to face. 